A Lee County woman is killed by a pet pit bull in her own backyard. 65-year-old Ethel Horton was killed yesterday morning as she tried to defend her husband from the animal. The couple was dog-sitting the pit bull. It belongs to their nephew next door. Police say the pit bull was chained to the ground but broke away and attacked the 71-year-old husband. Then it attacked his wife and killed her. A family friend says the couple has known the 10-year-old dog since it was a puppy. I never think of somebody dying that horrible death like that. Not someone as close as she is to us. It's just terrible. The pit bull was euthanized and is being tested for rabies. The husband, Jerry Horton, is recovering from surgery at Carolina Pines Medical Center in Hartsville. He is expected to survive. Now, with more on protecting yourself from an attack like that, we'll go over to Stuart Moore with a guest this morning. Good morning to you, Brandy. In the wake of the latest attack by a pit bull, this one costing the life of an elderly woman, we are joined by Teodi Anderson. She's an animal uh, behavior, behaviorist, a trainer as well. Uh, Teodi, obviously, whenever you hear about a pit bull attack, it, it's usually one that's violent nature. Why, when you hear about a pit bull attack, do you, is it always making the headlines? Why is it so violent? Pit bulls are strong dogs. They're big dogs and they can do a lot of damage when they do attack. So I think that's why we hear about a lot of it. And a lot of them are badly bred. There's some great pit bulls out there and there's some dangerous ones, just like great chihuahuas and dangerous chihuahuas and lots of other breeds as well. Yeah, you got a pretty nice pit bull here, Quincy. Now, obviously, the, 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 the one in this case, 10 years, had been with this family. They had known it since it was a puppy. And they're testing it for rabies right now. But what do you think, I mean, motivation-wise, what are the signs to look for to make sure that this type of thing doesn't happen to you or your family? Well, a lot of things can cause a dog to become aggressive. Uh, Long-term chaining can definitely cause aggression. A 1991 study by the city of Denver showed that chained dogs were three times more likely to bite than dogs that weren't chained. Um, age. Dogs get arthritic, they get in pain, the cold weather we've been having. There could have been a lot of factors in the case that caused the dog to, to do that. Yeah, now in this case, the woman she, who, who died, her husband was being attacked by the pit bull. She went outside to rescue him. Was that the thing to do? What, what do you suggest if, if you do come under attack by a violent dog? I certainly understand why she would do that, and my heart goes out to that family. That is it's a sad tragedy. The thing that you want to do if you are ever attacked by uh, any dog is go against your human nature. You're going to want to flail and scream and that's just going to rile the dog up worse. You should curl up into a little ball, protect the back of your neck, and, and just uh, be very calm and very still because any kind of agitated behavior is going to make that attack much worse. And last thing, Teodi, obviously, you know, we see this dog here is lying still. In a lot of communities, Dade County and Miami, uh, uh, they're starting to outlaw pit bulls because of the, the stigmatism that goes with the breed. Is that the answer or, or what's the answer to making sure that the breed is safe? Breed-specific legislation does not work. It's being proven in cities all over the country because it doesn't address the problem. The problem isn't the package that it comes in, it's the behavior. If you want to enact legislation, Treat the behavior, a deal with all aggressive dogs, not just what they look like. All right, Teodi Anderson with positive results, uh, a dog trainer in the, in the area. Thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you. And uh, we'll continue to follow the story and let you know more updates out of Lee County as soon as we get them. Brandy, back to you. All right, thanks, Stuart. Lots of great information there.